What's up guys, Luke again, and we are back for another episode of 500k in a day. If you're looking for any cheap and reliable ultimate team coins, make sure you go to gofifcoins.com. Link will be in the description down below, as well as discount code to get 5% off. Boom. So we're on 46k, and we have still have a lot of the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I think we have 5 players still selling, and um, one of them actually does sell here as we go into the trade pile. And you guys are showing some amazing support on this video, man. Um, if you can drop a like and subscribe, and that would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, if you want to see all the methods that are different methods that are used in this video, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Also, follow me on Twitter as well. And now that all that's out of the way, let's get into the trades. We get this second informed Berardi for 47k, and he was the only one on the market. So we list one up for 68k, and he sells within the first hour, which is absolutely amazing. We go and get some more left wings, um, more wingers, com either converted from left mids or left forwards, or we get on with Hunter Kemp style on. If I'm messing up, it's because it's really early in the morning, and I'm trying to get all these videos done and uploaded ready for you guys to enjoy. So. We got a Bacali, we got a Fry, we got a. You can you can see yourself what I'm missing them up for and what I'm getting them for. Get this Jimmy Briand here, 3.5k. That's a pretty nice deal because we can list him up for around 6k, 5.9k, and yeah. So when we come back, as you can see, we everything sold apart from one thing. Um, actually, only one thing sold. I got that mixed up. But Brady did sell within the first 15 minutes. I think some guy was price fixing because I went to pick up another one and. There was just loads, um, so almost been price fixing them. But as you can see, we've come back again, and all these players have sold, and we've hit 100k, so we're a fifth of the way there. And as you can see now, the next player that we're going to pick up is going to be an Inform Williamson. I was bidding on this for about 25 minutes. <laughs> we get it for 85,500, and that means we can list it up for around 150k. Um, there was only like two or three on the market, um, but we list ours up for 148. I think the cheapest was 150, so we list that one up, and that'll be a nice little bit of profit after tax. And then the next player that we're going to pick up is going to be another inform. We get this inform right mid. He doesn't look that good. I got him for 6.4k. Just going to list him up for around 11k. Um, 11, yeah, 11k, 10,750 start. And after these two sell, that'll be a nice little bit of profit. But then we go and pick up this Max. No, is it Max Cruz or Robbie Cruz? I'm not too sure. We're getting for 4.9k. We're going to list him up for around 6.7k, which after tax is also a nice bit of profit. He has got the Hunter Chem style as always because that's what the main method we're using. Then we go and pick up two El Yunusi for 5k i think the other one was for 5k as well we'll list them up for 6.8k with hunter which obviously after tax is very very good profit and this one takes me a while to list it up it keeps saying that the trade was not um could not be done but then it eventually does work but i'll just skip to that right now bang and yeah the ball sold the ball up for 6.7 and 6.4 just under quitting myself but still making profit to make them look more appealing and as you can see there the williamson and the other inform did sell we're going to pick up two of this inform this korean center this korean center back looks really really good 81 heading he's only got 51 pace but that doesn't really bother me and um, because i'm only trading with him i'm not using him but that's been the end of the video if you have enjoyed it make sure you drop it a like subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye